Cargo Foundation was actually founded in 2012, and since then we've been able to donate over a million dollars to hundreds of charitable causes throughout the areas where our 13 offices are located. At the Hargo Foundation Gala, this is the second year that that has been um, focused around the HAT project primarily. So it's the second year that all of the proceeds from the Hargo Foundation Gala are going directly back into the HAT project. The HAT project is the Hargo Adaptive Toy Project. Our engineers, they're able to take these Barbie cars that are just on the shelf in the store and modify them and retrofit them for children with mobility limitations. You ready? You want to go? One of the kids in particular, Christopher, he needed a tool to help him advance towards his future, to have an opportunity for mobility. Without that, it wouldn't be possible. After we filled out the application and they started the process of picking the kids who were actually going to get a car, I remember that whenever Miss Patty actually had called me and told me that he was going to get a car, I literally cried because <laughs> I was happy that he was going to have that opportunity. You know, just to have something like the other kids and just work on getting in a chair and just being able to experience life. As a mechanical lead on the HAT project, um, I've had the opportunity to help redesign the mechanical parts of the car. Um, and I think what has been the most um, pivotal opportunity that we have had is to really meet the families and, and get to know the kids and really adapt um, our design uh, for these kids. Madeline was born at 26 weeks with her twin brother and um, she as a result developed a brain bleed and that brain bleed caused her to have cerebral palsy. Before she had the car it was really a struggle for us to really get to enjoy any time outside. I would push her in a wheelchair, um, the boys would ride their bikes but I would always have to be an integral part of her being involved in any activity. They have gone above and beyond in every circumstance to try to make this be just what she needed and perfect for her to be able to interact on in a situation where we wouldn't have had that as an opportunity and we're so thankful. It's been exciting to see how much progress the kids that have received the cars have made not only in the physical ability to drive the car but their socialization, their, how happy they are, they're just more motivated they're striving to be independent, which is one of the biggest goals that we can offer our kids is the opportunity to be independent and then move about without having somebody always have to push them and be there for them. When you give to the Hargrove Foundation and you support projects like the HAT Project, you not only open a door for uh, avenues of freedom and mobility, but you open a door for those incredible memories that will pretty much put a marker in someone's life that they can always point back to and go, that was the day that my life changed.